Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Philippians 2, 1 to 2. Christ our pattern. In this chapter of Philippians, the Apostle Paul presses upon the saints that the way to end all strife is to have Christ before them as the perfect pattern of a humble servant. We cannot acquire this humility by our own efforts or by simply trying to be humble. The only way is to have our eyes fixed on Christ because only in him we see lowliness in absolute perfection. As we gaze upon him as our pattern, we are transformed and changed to truly be more like him. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Verse 5. Paul presents Christ as being in the form of God. Verse 6. Whom no one has seen nor can see. But this one who was in the form of God took on himself the form of a lowly servant. He became son of man, walking here on this earth in humble loving service to mankind, a path which led him to Calvary's cross. Although he took on humanity, we must remember that he did not lay aside his deity. These downward steps, verse 7 to 8, only prove that he is God. Now he is exalted with a name above every name. He is our pattern, but he does not leave us on our own, for it is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. Verse 13. He is there to support and encourage and help. It is a joy to his heart to see his children going on well. He knows there are dangers within and without as the enemy works relentlessly to divide the saints and take away their joy. And it is so easy for us to become careless and self-satisfied. May our God and Father preserve us and keep us close to himself that our joy and pleasure may be in him. May we shine as lights in the world, holding fast the word of life. Verse 15 to 16, Jacob Redekop.